Every believer has a voice, and it's the voice of victory. My God has made a way for me. Mark eleven twenty two. Jesus answering saith unto them, Have faith in God. Well, Brother Copeland, what about the elections? Have faith in God. Isn't that the truth? Have faith in God. What about the next four years? Have faith in God. What about the economy? Have faith in God. What about my health? Have faith in God. What about my future? Have faith in God. What about my past? It's gone. <laughs> Have faith in God. Forget about it. Well, that's not easy to do. I didn't say it as easy. I said, forget about it. How? By faith. Sure. I've had to do that. Well, what is that called? Casting down imaginations. And every thought bring every thought into captivity. You put it in prison. Don't let it out. I've literally done that at some time at night. The Lord just, uh, just, just working with me and working with me and the devil just drilling something, just drilling on me or something I do not want to think about. Something that happened a long, long time ago and I don't want any part of it. Just shut up. That doesn't work. Let's look at it. 2 Corinthians chapter 10. That third verse, though we walk in the flesh, we do not war after the flesh, for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal, but dunamis. Power. Through God to the pulling down of strongholds. All strongholds are not bad. Faith strongholds need to replace the bad ones. Have faith in God. Yeah, but just don't, yeah, but just have faith in God. How do I do that? Very, very, very on purpose. Very, very, very on purpose. To the pulling down of strongholds, casting down imagination, or the cross reference says reasonings, and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. Every high thing that exalts itself against your knowledge of the Word of God. If you don't have any Word of God knowledge, you're whipped. If all you have is religious knowledge, well, just lay there and sing, bringing in the sheaves. <laughs> well, that, you know, if that's all you know, do it. Bringing into captivity every thought, every thought to the obedience of Christ, having in a ready, readiness to avenge all disobedience. What? All disobedience of thought. And there's been times right there in the, in the nighttime particularly. And I just, I just visualize in my mind this prison cell. And I put that thought in there and I'm not letting you out. I'll keep you locked up in there. You can't get out. And then the next time I think, no, you don't. No, you don't. Get back in your cage. Just get back in your cage right now. If I have to get up out of bed and go into the other room and not wake up my wife and put that rascal back in its cage. And that's what I'm going to do. Now, it won't be long. It just doesn't sneak out anymore. And that's when you begin to praise. And then as you praise God, amen. Now, Have faith in God. Let's do some, let's just take a little refresher here. There are, you know,
you know, there's times we need to go back to the fundamentals. I'm pretty big on fundamentals. Um, fundamentals are important. I heard Jeremy say, what are you watching when you're watching the Super Bowl? Masters of the fundamentals. And if they get away from those fundamentals, they get beat. Amen. The very fundamentals, <laughs> rather than go into a lot of different, well, Vince, Vince, <coughs> the coach, you understand? Lombardi had a losing season. I don't work with him. Now he's, he's coaching the, the guy, these guys are the best there is. So spring training, he walked in and he had a football in his hand. He said, gentlemen, this is a football. <laughs> they went back to the fundamentals. Amen. During World War II, I was so, <clears throat> during the war, anything that, anything that had wings on it, I, I wanted a piece of it, you know. And, and to watch all the airplanes in the sky during the war and all that, I, I got such a thrill out of that. <clears throat> I was in elementary school and we had a, a two-story brick school. It was a nice school. Fair Park Elementary School. Mr. Anthony was principal. And uh, if you were an upperclassman, you were upstairs. And I was upstairs. Anyway, we heard this really bad sound. The moment I heard it, Phil, the moment I heard it, I, I, I had a sense of what it was because there was a P-47 training base just a little ways out of town. And I could hear that big round engine and it was blowing and sputtering. Man, we all ran to the windows. This thing's smoking and just kind of wallowing around in the sky. And finally, now our school was on 7th Street, just off of 7th. We lived just off 11th Street. We were on South 11th Street. This thing finally, and it's what it was, a P-47 Thunderbolt. And it just bellied up and crashed in the street in South 11th. Wow. It just went over our grade school. We were standing there in a the window looking at it. My mother had faith in God. Oh, yes. She prayed all the time. Yes, yes, yes. Glory to God. What had happened, they, this thing started, I don't, I don't, I don't remember now what, what the problem was with the engine, but he flew that airplane way out, out in the country and bailed out of it. Well, airplanes don't just roll over and fall. They keep on flying if they can fly. He bailed out, and this thing turned around and came back to town, Tom. <laughs> but it hit in the middle of the street. The engine came off of it. If you know how to research it and you want to read it, it's in the, it is in the, uh, let's see, Abilene Reporter News. That thing hit in the street. The engine flew off of it. Just missed this little boy playing in his, in his sandbox and hit the side of a man's garage and burned his car up, burned his garage and burned his car. 
That's it. Big old hole in the street. <laughs> they carried that thing off in pieces. Faith in God. Faith in God. Faith in God. Say it. Faith in God. So, what, what got me off on that? Fundamentals. During the war, they had, they had kids, some of them actually had never been up close to an airplane. Um, for those of you that don't know, we didn't have television during World War II. <laughs> we laid in the floor and watched the radio. We actually, we, um, we had radio stories. And we lay there and watch the radio like, it was, like we were going to see something on it. <laughs> you watch the radio. Well, what else was there to watch? <laughs> they would actually start, gentlemen, this is an airplane. Well, so what? Now, how many pilots do I have in the room? Raise your hand. Okay. Now, you guys keep your mouth shut. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Well, you can laugh. Now, Gary, we're going to get into some fundamentals here. Everybody in this room knows everything about airplanes. I'm going to be your instructor. And when I start, you're going to think, what is the matter with him? And they would start like this. So I'll start like this. David, yes, sir. this is a propeller. The, the engine is in there. This is a wing. Now, if you follow me around this wing, the next thing you will notice is an aileron. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> a what? Yeah, an aileron. Deep there. You don't know what an aileron is? Well, uh, you know, we didn't take long, did it? <laughs> Fundamentals. And we'll, we'll go around this way. And this is the empennage. Mm -hmm. Empennage. Uh, how about fuselage? You've heard fuselage. That's the whole thing, you know. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> then you come around this one as a vertical stabilizer. Rudder to you. Okay. But it's not just rudder, it's in two pieces. The vertical stabilizer, the rudder is connected to the vertical stabilizer. How about the horizontal stabilizer? What's connected to the horizontal stabilizer? The elevator. Tail wheel, do you get that? I was thinking tail <laughs> <laughs> But see, you get, you get into the fundamentals. Everybody had to start the same way. Everybody had to start exactly the same way. Now, some people continued and went all the way up the line. Now, here's the amazing thing. The 747, no propellers. Oh, wait a minute. Yes, it does. They're just inside that shroud. Only now it's called a fan. There are blades in there. And they are doing the same thing that a propeller did on a piston airplane. But you know what? It has ailerons. It has a horizontal stabilizer. It has a rudder. It has a vertical, I mean, vertical stabilizer and a rudder, a horizontal stabilizer, an elevator. It has a fuselage, empennage. It's an airplane. Mm -hmm. It's an airplane. An airplane would have flown, a 747 would have flown in the Garden of Eden. Just nobody knew how. Nobody knew the fundamentals. And they had to come up through the fundamentals one at a time. And, uh, 
It's amazing to me how every time somebody had tried to learn those fundamentals, there were, that, there were a thousand times that many people have screamed and hollered and belly ached about it. It'll never work. It'll never work. And I'll never get on one. Thank you, Lord. Now, <clears throat> the fundamentals of faith are very, very basic. Faith is a spiritual force. The most powerful forces, far more powerful are the unseen forces, whether it's natural or in the spirit. The laws of physics can't be seen. When Boeing left the 707, at that time that was the biggest airplane they'd ever built. Then they went to the 747. They had to learn physics all over again. Built a whole new plant. They had to, the engineers had to relearn. They couldn't go to a computer and say, find out what it had to say. But they realized that fundamentally, this airplane was so big and had such a wingspan that you can't, you can't see it because of its, it, it happens so slowly, but it actually flaps its wings. And I forgot now what it is, something, something like 15 feet of flex in each direction or tear the wing off of it. And in turbulence, it kind of flaps its wings. You better hope that thing keeps flapping its wing. If it didn't, it'd break it off. Amen. Then they had to learn to do with two engines what they did with four. Hallelujah. So I'm talking about fundamental. So now the, fu the fundamentals, spiritual forces are powerful far more powerful than anything you can see. Turn with me to the 11th chapter of the book of Hebrews. This is so misunderstood. How many of you get Keith Moore on faith school? What's the matter with the rest of you? I'm telling you, get online, get it. I, I, uh, the thing that's so important about it is Keith goes through Fundamentals. How many broadcasts did you do on faith? Just start with. Hundred and twenty-five. Hundred and twenty-five. Hundred and thirty. In faith school, just on faith. Well, <clears throat> I treadmill with him. <laughs> I get up and <clears throat> and when I get on the treadmill and I, I, I he's he's not the only one that I watch. But when I'm on that treadmill and to really, really concentrate on faith <clears throat> and healing, and Keith is like Brother Hagin. Brother Hagin said, we're going to go bug hunting. Yeah. We're going bug hunting. And we're going to turn every leaf. When I was a little boy, we used to do that. Now, good. If you can turn up a chip and it is, and whoa, look at the bugs under that one, man. Maybe one of something you want to put in a jar. And uh, scare a girl with it, you know. <laughs> <laughs> and there's a lot of girls made out like they were scared and they weren't any more scared than we were. But anyway, <clears throat> that's fundamentally what, anyway. We're going bug hunting. We're going to look under every chip, look under every leaf. I mean, we're going to find out what's bugging us and we're going to look and look and look and we're going to take this thing apart. Now, in this 11th chapter, now faith is the substance of things hoped for, the evidence of things not seen. Evidence of things 
not visible. Say it, evidence of things not seen, not visible. For by it the elders obtained a good report. Through faith we understand that the worlds were framed by the Word of God so that things which are seen were not made of things which do appear. It's made out of something you can't see. I have actually heard preachers bragging on God, created this universe out of nothing. No, He didn't. No, He didn't. He created it out of something you can't see. Believed it in his heart, said it with his mouth. Glory be to God. And there it is. I just gave you the fundamental of faith. Yeah, that's right. That's right. Wow. That's really difficult, isn't it? <laughs> he believed it and he said it. Yeah, that's it. He believed it and he said it. It works all the time. It is a spiritual law. Fear in your heart, say it with your mouth. And the stuff you didn't want comes to pass. You believed it and said it. Let me get I mean, it's as simple as this. Now, the law is as simple as this, but then there comes a time when it has to be developed. You understand? If you have to develop it and continue to build and work in it, of course. But it's as simple as this. Well, Pastor, I think I'm going to go back up there at that podium. Pastor, I believe I'll go back to that podium. Big difference. I think I'll go to the store. Andrew, um, I need to go. To, I think I think I'm gonna go to the store. I think I might go to the store. You ain't never gonna get to the store. <laughs> Is somebody gonna butt in on you somehow or another? You're never gonna get to the store because you're just thinking about it. Turn that around. I believe. I believe I'll go to the store. Yeah, I believe I will. And, yeah, in fact, in fact, I'm, I'm, yeah, I believe I'll just go there now. Well, now wait a minute. I'm not there. But I believe I'm going to the store. I believe I'm going. If I don't change my confession and the way I'm acting, I'm going to get there. Can it be that simple? It has to be that simple. I like what Charles Capps said. It is so simple, you have to have help to misunderstand it. And we've had some really high priced help. <laughs> That's what Brother Hagin said. We've had some real high priced help here to help us misunderstand this because it is so simple. I think I'll go to the store. That's going to have to turn into, I believe I'm going to the store. And then you're going to have to head towards the store and I'm going to that store. Praise God. And I am going to that store. Thank the Lord. Now, hallelujah, I'm at the store. I'm there. You have a free resource to help you study and apply the Bible-based truths you just heard. Download the BVOV broadcast study notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. Collect the notes from each week and use them in a group Bible study. Use the message outline to teach from. Discuss the scriptures and key points with your family of believers. Gain understanding from all the teachings on the Believer's Voice of Victory broadcast. Get the whole week of notes today at kcm.org.uk slash notes. So Jesus answered and said to them, have faith in God. For assuredly, I say to you, whoever says to this mountain, be removed and be cast into the sea and does not doubt in his heart, but believes that those things he says will be done, he will have whatever he says. The explosive faith package includes the force of faith by Kenneth Copeland, along with the additional growing your faith MP3 audio disc. 
These foundational resources will help you discover the difference between the physical laws of this world and the laws that govern our spiritual lives. Understand how fear affects the physical body. Discover what happens to your spirit the moment you accept Jesus Christ as Savior. Learn how faith transfers God's will to earth. Only God's Word can put your spirit, soul, and body into proper order. Change your tomorrow by changing what you say today. Activate the force of faith and move into the destiny that God has for you. Develop faith that will move mountains in your life. Request your free explosive faith package from Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Discover steps to growing your faith and begin using it as a powerful force every day. Go to kcm.org.uk forward slash TV special or call 01225 787 310. This free offer is good for 30 days. Postage charges may apply. Contact your regional office for more information. Faith is a spiritual force, and the fundamentals of faith are very basic. And the way you excel in something is to master those fundamentals. And you apply the principles over and over, and you build on that foundation. And Brother Copeland has shared today how faith is a spiritual law. It works every time it's put to work. So if faith works all the time, then what makes the difference is your decision to believe and say God's Word. It's up to you to act it to see the results. And Kenneth and Gloria Copeland have put together some free resources to help you use your faith to bring God's promises into your life. It's called the Explosive Faith Package. It's a book and an MP3 teaching by Kenneth Copeland. And that's the power of faith that can move mountains in your life. Listen, when you made Jesus the Lord of your life, you were infused with powerful living faith and you are a joint heir with Jesus and his living faith is on the inside of you. His very life is on the inside of you right now. And we encourage you to learn the seven steps to growing your faith. Brother Copeland walks you through the word of God, showing you how to take your faith to a greater level. And you learn how to transfer the power of God from heaven to earth with your faith filled words. So be sure to request your free package on kcm.org. And both products are also available available to receive today as free downloads on kcm.org. And you can download this week's study notes for free at kcm.org slash notes. And of course, they contain all the faith scriptures and teaching points that Brother Copeland is covering. And this is a subject that you would want his notes on. You can use this free resource for your personal study or even to teach other people. Amen. Praise the Lord. Thanks so much for joining us today. We'll see you again tomorrow. Until then, remember that Jesus is Lord. Today's Believer's Voice of Victory was brought to you by the faithful partners and friends of Kenneth Copeland Ministries. Go to kcm.org.uk to receive your free digital download of today's broadcast. 2021 is the year of the local church, a year of divine healing, divine health, divine prosperity, and divine recovery.